So we just did what would be um, thought of as kind of a right hand, left hand rectangle rule. Uh, the better example for us to consider is something called the midpoint rule. So let's do um, a little bit of discussion about how we could approximate a double integral using instead of the upper right corner we could do maybe the midpoint of each of our rectangles. So the methods that we use for approximating single integrals, the midpoint rule, the trapezoidal rule, the Simpsons rule, all have counterparts for the double integrals. Um, we're going to only consider the midpoint rule for double integrals, but that means that we use a double Riemann sum to approximate the double integral, but we choose our sample point to be the center, and this is the notation I'm going to use from this point forward to represent the center of each of my sub rectangles. So x xi is the midpoint of each subinterval xi minus 1 to xi, and yi bar is going to be the midpoint of yj minus 1 to yj. So the midpoint rule would look like this. If I wanted to find the double integral over r of f of xy dA, I could approximate that by doing the sum over all of my subrectangles and plug in the midpoint of each of those function. So in fact, if you kind of went back to this illustration we did before, instead of choosing the points up here at the right corners, we would find the midpoint. So we'd find the halfway point between each edge of the subrectangle. Okay? So let's do that with an example. Let's find the midpoint for the pieces of the rectangle and approximate it. So they give us some information. We are going to divide the x and y axis into two pieces in each direction for this particular rectangle and we want to find the double integral over r of x minus 3y squared dA. So first thing you need to do is draw the picture. And so I'm going to just do that by hand here. Oh, back up, sorry. There's my pen. So in this case I'm going from x equals 0 to 2. So here's 1, here's 2. And in the y direction, here's 1, and here's 2. So my rectangle is actually right here. Okay. Now it says to divide the x direction and the y direction into two equal subintervals. So if I go all the way from here to here and divide that in half, I get that one. And if I go from here to here and divide that in half, I do that right there. So now what I need to do is find the midpoint of each of these subrectangles. Okay? So this right here is obviously going to be 1 half, and this right here is going to be halfway between 1 and 2, so 3 halves. All right? So this right here is is 0.5. This in here would be a 1 and a fourth, so 5 fourths because it's halfway between 1 and 1.5. So I said 0.5, I meant 1.5. And then this one here is going to be um, halfway between 1.5 and, and 2, which is going to be 7 fourths. Just average numbers if you have trouble finding those. Just average 1.5 and 2, you get 1.75 or 7 fourths. Okay. And then what you do for each one of these rectangles, you remember the double integral over R of x minus 3y squared dA would be equal to the double sum over i and j at each one of those midpoints, y, j, delta A. So I'm just going to do this for all four rectangles. It doesn't really matter what order I do this in, but I'm going to do f at the first point, which is 1 half comma 5 fourths. And then what's the area of this rectangle? It's length 1 by length half. In a minute, I'll be able to calculate that for us. But that, I would just say, let's call that delta A. They're all the same size. This one would be plus F at, I'm going to do now this rectangle here. I've, I've done 1 comma 1. I'm doing um, 2 comma 1. So that's at 3 halves comma 5 fourths times delta A plus F at, now this point up here, that's 3 comma 1 
is the rectangle. I'm, I'm just calling it R sub 3, 1. I should have used better notation there. This is R1, 1, R2, 1, and not R3, 1. Sorry, actually what I meant is this rectangle is R1, 2. 1 in the x direction, 2 in the y direction. The point has coordinates uh, 1 half, comma, 7 fourths. times delta A, and then last one would be F at 3 halves, comma 7 fourths, delta A. Now in every case, delta A would be 1 times 0.5, because that's my delta X is 1, my delta Y, the length of this interval on this side, delta Y is one half. It's one half because I took the whole interval from one to two and divided it in half. That's how wide, or I guess you'd say how tall that uh, subrectangle is. So that's 0.5. So you evaluate all of these in your function here. Okay. So I'm going to skip a few steps and just plug it all into my calculator, and what I get is negative. 11.875. I plugged in 1 and 5 fourths into this formula, multiplied it by 0 0.5. 3 halves and 5 fourths into this formula, multiplied it by 0 0.5, and so on. And this is the answer that I get. So that's how you might apply the midpoint rule. Now let's talk about how we do it in... Uh, by hand, exactly. What is the technique for finding the exact integral, not an approximate value? So I actually should be careful here. That's approximate. That's approximate.